this is Ty. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you supporting my young channel. We are over 150 subscribers. Thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate all your support. Um, today, I am going to bring you my little mini Dollar Tree haul. So, um, as you know, if you have a Dollar Tree, if you're blessed to have a Dollar Tree in your area, um, you can find just about anything there. Anything from lotions to school supplies to nail polish to anything. Um, most of us will go there, you know, to pick up odds and ends. Um, I go there often to pick up whatever's there, <laughs> to be honest with you. So today I got a little haul. Um, I picked up some personal items. I picked up some things that I hadn't seen in the Dollar Tree before. Um, so let's get started. I know you're anxiously awaiting what I purchased. So um, the first thing I purchased was um, some Sunny Delight. This is like um, the little cheap juices that little kids like to drink. Um, I picked up two of these. One is orange and the other is red. And these are for my son. Honestly, I don't drink them, but he loves them. So whenever I see them at a nice size, you know, $4, why not? Um, the next thing I purchased was something for myself. Um, this is a new thing that I just noticed that um, Dollar Tree has. It's um, Nature's Garden Tropical Fruit Trail Mix. Now, this is good for me because I don't like peanuts, walnuts, no nuts. Um, and this is the first time that I've ever seen, you know, trail mix without any nuts in them. This is um, a blend of banana chips, raisins, dried papaya, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. I bought two of these. I've already opened one. I've tried it, and they are really good. So if you are like me and you only want fruit, in your trail mix this is great um the next thing that i purchased was from the office section i thought this was really really pretty it's a clipboard and i like the roses um so i purchased this one i'm trying to get myself more organized get my life together you know with this new youtube thing i have more things to do which is great i welcome it but i want to be prepared so i bought a clipboard and um you know with the you know what still around we have to still keep little wipes and tissues whatever else you know to help keep everything nice and clean and um you know coronavirus free so i purchased some of these for my car i'll put these right in my um car and i'll always have them um the next thing i purchased was These are the Plackers, Blank, Plackers brand um, dental flossers. I like these because you they come in a little, you know, resealable pouch. You can pop them right in your bag. No problem. You don't have to worry about trying to grab one and the whole thing opens and spills all over your bag or on the floor if you keep them in your bathroom. I really like this product. Um, as you can all see, I do have braces. They are coming off in a couple months. And I want to make sure when I get my braces off, my smile is gorgeous because I'm gonna be smiling y'all so I purchased these why not they're a dollar um the next thing I purchased was um a short brand shaving cream and it's for sensitive skin um to be honest you really don't need to purchase you know the really expensive brand six seven eight dollars for a can of shaving cream that is a little bit steep for me um, my skin is super sensitive, so the only thing I really need is either some soap or like, you know, a little bit of foam for my legs and underarms. And actually, I'm going to be featuring um, these and a couple other items on a um, a hygiene video that I'm planning. Um, most likely, it'll be within the next couple weeks, so ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for that one. That's a shaving cream. And you can never have too much Dawn liquid dish detergent. So I purchased one of these. Can't go wrong with Dawn. Um, I love to cook. That's one of my passions outside of um, perfume. So I purchased a large box of the oven ready lasagna. Now this is a really good price. It's 12 ounces and it's about 20 um, you know, flat sheets in there. I make a big pan of lasagna 
and you know we'll eat from that my family and i will eat from that for like four days um why well, spend three dollars on a box smaller than this when you get this big box for what one dollar at the dollar tree so there that is and i do have a cat actually i have two they're mother and daughter um and they love to scratch any and everything they're not supposed to scratch so i purchased this scratch pad um I have these strategically placed around my home to give them something to scratch on besides my furniture and my beautiful rugs. So, one dollar, Dollar Tree. Um, the next thing I purchase, every person that has a home or has hair needs combs in their home. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but combs seem to disappear right along with the socks and the dryer. I don't know where they all go, they just sleep, I don't know. So usually like every other month, every two months, I will purchase a package of these um, combs. Now with different, 12 different type of combs, of course there's a rat tail comb, there's a little small ones you can put in your purse. Um, 12 different combs, can't go wrong, $1. Now they're not the most, these are not the ones that you're going to use forever. They're not. Um, these are not hairdresser grade. These are just something that's going to, you know, comb your hair, make you look beautiful and you can continue on with your day. So um i purchased some removable hooks i'm a renter so i don't want to put too many holes in my walls i will normally um just hang pictures but for like little projects or what have you um i'll use these removable hooks the dollar tree always has multiple sizes sometimes you can even find colors if not you can just spray paint them or hand you know free hand paint them but i bought um two two of these so that was a good deal and of course they're what one dollar a piece so and i bought quite a few of these razors these are really really good razors they're um six blade razors and you get two in a pack so they're 50 cent a piece basically um these are really good they give you a nice smooth shave your legs and underarms or whatever will be nice and smooth no worries so that's where i bought i bought multiples of these um when you see them get them because you never know. Sometimes they don't have them. Sometimes they just have the um, the five blades. I prefer the six blades. So that's why I bought them. Um, the next thing I purchased was some uh, LA's Totally Awesome Power Oxygen Face Cleaner. Now, they say this is for the like cleaning the floors and what have you. I use these in laundry. And they make your laundry smell really, really fresh. They get like all the odors out, like gym clothes anything like sick clothes anything and it's no bleach in here so if you're allergic to bleach and your skin is very sensitive but you still want to have nice bright white colors and whites try this this is really good um like i said it's a dollar and it's not it's not bad at all um i've been using it for a while and my clothes are very bright um i have no issues with them it hasn't i have the he washer and it hasn't ruined my washer or anything so if you're interested in that go pick it up it's right in the cleaning section of the dollar tree um, I purchased a couple packs of baby wipes. These are self-explanatory, ladies and gentlemen. Um, they're definitely necessary in the home or anywhere else that you and your bum will be. Um, I purchased some body wash. This is Fresh Rose Essence. Now, this is for my son. I actually purchased two. I brought the last two that they had on the shelf. Um, I don't think he's going to be thrilled with the rose, but if it's rose or no wash you know what are you gonna do so two of these real big bottles these are 22.5 fluid ounces so these are definitely gonna last for a little while and like i said they um they smell really good i think i smelled the rose one before yeah this smells like a real rose like a rose not the green part but the actual flower that's what this one smells like and this one what's this one smell like this is supposed to be ocean minerals. Let's see if it has an oceany smell. Not really. Um, it really doesn't smell like anything. The rose, they hit the no hit the nail right on the head, but this one doesn't really have an old a smell. But that's fine. Now the last four things that I purchased, and there is gonna be a separate video um, for these. Um, I bought some more perfumes. Now, I'm not sure what these smell like. I think I'm going to wait for the um, the next video where I do my comparison because I purchased 
ones that I do have the originals for. So I purchased um, Blossom Blast, which is supposed to be EAD's Flower Bomb by Victor Roth. Um, Undercover Angel, which I'm super excited to test and see if, you know, it smells like it. This is the Victoria's Secret knockoff or dupe. We'll say dupe. Dupe sounds nicer of the um, Dream Angels Heavenly. And we have a classic by uh, Britney Spears. This is the Fantasy. Now this one, I'm not sure what name they were going for because it's not in English. I don't even think it's French or Spanish. I'm maybe, maybe one of you ladies and gentlemen will be able to tell me what that says. I don't see it. But this is supposed to be the, um, this is supposed to be the dupe for Fantasy by uh, Britney Spears. So we will definitely see. And the last one, is Miss Fabulous and this is the EAD uh, knockoff for Good Girls by Carolina Herrera now I can't resist I must see what this smells like right now I am super curious so let's see um, I'm not sure if you watched my other video but um, if you haven't check it out it's the Dollar Tree you know gems you can check that out um, actually I will link it below um, this is the bottle I believe this is the standard shape bottle and it has the name of the perfume. Actually, this is going to be Edu Toilet Spray. So let's see how much this is like the Carolina Herrera. Let's check it out. Okay, put the top back on. Give it a sec. Oh, wait a minute. This smells almost exactly like it. Are you kidding? I am so shocked. I'm shocked, ladies and gentlemen. This really does smell like it. It doesn't smell alcoholic. It doesn't smell bad at all. Um, I would go as far to say that you could layer this with the real Carolina Herrera and nobody would be any the wiser. This really, they really did a good job with this. Great job, EAD. So that's that. Again, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because I am going to do a comparison video for um, these four fragrances. This one, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Um, they knocked it out the park with this one. It really does smell like Carolina Herrera. Well, now. Okay. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for right now. I appreciate you sticking by me and watching my whole video. Um, new subscribers, don't forget to put the little tick on the bell so that you'll know when I upload, which I do frequently. Um, returning subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my little channel. Let's keep it going. Um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway once I get to 500 subscribers. I know that's a little ways away, but you know, Tell your friends, have people, you know, click on my, uh, share my video and click on the subscribe and leave, leave me some comments and we can all just get together and talk about perfumes or whatever else you want to talk about. So in closing, thank you for watching. Everybody have a blessed day and be safe, be kind to one another and please wear your mask. Let's get past this. Have a good day. Bye.